Hey guys, I'm Bob Lalonde with All Grip North America, and I'm here to talk about All Grip 545 Finish Primer. The 545 Finish Primer is an epoxy, which is a one-to-one -one mix, available in gray and white can be brushed, rolled, and sprayed. Uh, it is not a finish primer for below the water line. You would have to use the bottom primer system, but it can go below the water line. It can be applied over Wash Prime CF, high build, ultra build, previously painted surfaces, and bare substrate. It can be applied to aluminum, steel, fiberglass, or wood. For the brush applied, you would use the T0031, uh, about 15% reducer uh, for that. And for spraying, you can apply, you can uh, use the T0006 for a reducer for spray, but it's not really necessary unless you're priming something very porous like raw wood, but just the one-to-one -one mix is, is good enough for, for spray. There is a 15 minute induction time, which means you mix the base and the converter together and let it sit for 15 minutes and then remix it and then you're ready to apply. Surface preparation for 545 is sanding with 150 to 220 and two to three coats uh, works best. One hour at 77 degrees recoat time is the minimum and 24 hours would be the maximum recoat time. And after you apply the 545 preparation before top coat would be 320 to 400 grit and all of our top coats can be applied over it. All Craft, All Grip, All Craft SC. Uh, it is a finished primer, so any top coat can be applied over top of it. Okay, now that we've cleaned our uh, gel coated panel, uh, we've, we've applied some guide coat. Guide coat basically is a thin sacrificial film that you put down, whether it's a spray can or uh, there's all kinds of different versions of it. But in short, it just shows your highs and lows and it shows you that you're thoroughly sanded. So we're gonna prepare this panel to prime with 545 epoxy primer. So we're going to use uh, some 180 grit sandpaper on a DA and get this thing ready. So you can see here, where I've sanded thoroughly, there's no, no guide coat left. Here where there's little bits and patches of the guide coat still there, that tells you there's more sanding to be done. All right, now that we're all sanded, the next step is to blow it off and give it another wipe before priming. T115 again, because it has not been primed yet. It's still gel coat. So we're gonna wipe it down with 115 one last time. All right, we're ready to prime. Put a hole in the chine so it doesn't leak out. Two hundred milliliters of base. You want to mix it thoroughly and you also want to be sure to give it a 15 minute induction time. Uh, we're going to be applying two to three coats, uh, nice smooth wet coats is what we're looking for. We don't want to put a tack coat down, just try to get it smooth right off the bat. It's about an hour in between coats at 77 degrees 
Uh, right now it's about 87 degrees, so we can cut that time in half. So we're gonna recode every 30 minutes.